Hey there, in this video, I want to show you how to add social bars. We'll just add a social bar right to a website page. You may want to put them in headers or footers, but I'm going to add it to a page. So I'm just going to grab a page right here. I'll go to page seven. I can't remember what we did on this page. Let's let it load up. And I did nothing on this page. So we have a blank page. So I'm going to click add and I'm going to add a panel and I'm just going to add a blank panel. This will give us something to work on. Uh, this could be any panel on your website. Just a quick refresher. Um, let's go back to this home page here. This is a panel right here with some images and some text. This is a panel with images and text and a button. This is a panel with just some words. This is a panel. This is a panel. So I want you to visualize we have a panel here, and it could have anything you want on it. But we are going to add a social bar, and we're going to configure it. So I click on Add Elements. I scroll down to Social Bars, and I have one option. And I'll just grab this and bring it over. Once I bring it over, I can click on it and I can resize it all I want, right? So for this example, I'm just going to make it large just so it's easy to see. Now, I can click on it and I can click on the Edit Element button. When I click on Edit Element, you'll see that the social bar is in my Edit menu over here. I'll click on all of these settings just to see what goes on. So, General Settings. We can open in a new tab. So if you click on LinkedIn, you want it to open in a new tab. Orientation, I believe that'll go horizontal and vertical, and I was right. Show Facebook, show Twitter, show Instagram, and show LinkedIn. I can remove the ones I don't want just by clicking the buttons. Okay? So then, the only other thing you need to do is grab your Facebook link. So if I want to have Facebook displayed, I just go to my Facebook and you decide where you want it to go to. In this case, I'll have it go to my personal profile. I just grab the link and put it right in there, right? So I could do the same thing with Instagram. I could do the same thing with LinkedIn. And you, you get the point. You can also change the image. So if you didn't like that Facebook image, which I happen to like it, but if you didn't, you could change it. So I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to hit change image. And I think under icons, there's a social network option. So there's already some in here for you, or you can download them from, uh, from the internet. But you see, I could change it now. So I just change it to that circle. I can hit again, and I can click on icons and come down here. I could change it to just the F if I want. And boom, that's how you can change them. So super simple. Oh, let's see what else. We have size. We have width on tablet. We have border. So I guess we could add a border. Um, I don't know if you would. I think it looks really good the way it does, but you could add borders with colors and um, different options here. You could also add a round border, and we talked about this a lot of times, but I'll just put in number 30, and you can see it rounds it. If you want a bigger, more round, you can go 60. Okay. Animation. You can have it do certain things when certain things happen. Hover animation is not bad. So you can hit hover. And when you hover over it, you could have it pulse a little bit. And I'll show you that in a minute. And then click back on it. Click on edit. Make sure you're still editing your social bar over here. You could save this element as a master element. And you could save it as a master element that you could use anywhere in the future. And I don't do much with tag configuration, so I'm just going to hit save. I'll hit that's fine. 
I'll hit preview. I'll hit preview. And you'll see when I mouse over, it actually pulses. And I don't know if that'll let me click. It won't let me click it in preview mode. But if I clicked on Facebook, it would bring you to my Facebook. And if I had configured it with Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram, it would be good to go. So that's it. This was fairly simple, adding a social bar. And I did, I did do it live on a site. I've got this website right here. And on this site, I have a community real estate information page. And you can click it. And it brings you to that group. And then somebody could request to join that group if it was their first time here. So that's it. You guys have a great day. This was video 14. And the next one, we're going to do something simple too. It's adding countdown timers to a panel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.